it has started. You ready to run and gun? It's time for Blast Off. Let's go. Hey guys, Todd here with you. Welcome back to Bassin 101. Truck talk of the day, and it's an interesting one. Because the NPFL has banned forward-facing sonar for the two for the 2025 season. Who else is going to follow suit? I'm sorry. The way I look at it, I look at this differently than other people. If you're earning money, I don't care if it's a YouTube channel, tournaments, whatever. If you're earning money, you're poaching. And you know, whether you agree with it or not, everybody is you know, entitled to their own opinion. But I think if, if you're earning money whatsoever in fishing, you shouldn't be allowed to use it. There was a guy I was watching uh, who's here locally, and and uh, that's about as far as I'll go. He's He's, you could say, pretty well known, maybe. Um, and I like the guy, don't get me wrong, but I do disagree with him on something. He, he was kind of split down the middle. It could be a good thing. It could be a bad thing. And he mentioned the local tournament deal, which from what I've heard from friends of mine who do local tournaments and stuff like that, they say that the turnout's been dropping. Because so many people are buying these units and they either can't afford them or just don't want to use them. So they don't fish them anymore. But this particular individual said that they were just blossoming in attendance because of this. Okay. Um, I kind of see my buddies point of view that all the different people I've talked to and it's not just where I am here I mean we're talking we're talking tournaments you know local tournaments and stuff like that in other states and people I've talked to that have dropped out of it they're not going to do it no more unless it's banned and this individual also said that people uh, but there have been a couple of local tournaments that have banned it, and they are just screaming for justice because they spent thousands and thousands of dollars on this stuff. And by golly, we're you know if we should be able to use them and everything to win these local tournaments and all that. Did they sleep in math class? Um, you're gonna spend thousands of dollars to get the forward-facing sonar to win a $200 tournament. This is when you're supposed to hear crickets chirping. You know how many tournaments you got to win to pay that dude off? You'll, you'll be retired before that even happens. Wow. If it ever even happens. Crying the blues. Well, you know what? If, you, if you're a local dude... And you're buying that unit because you want to fish local tournaments. And if they ban it, it is what it is. Use it for fun. Use it for fun fishing. Use it for pre-fishing. You know, whatever, whatever you want to do with it. But I'd like to know how local tournaments are policing it. You know, if there are some that are banning it, how are you policing that? I mean, what keeps a guy from pulling a unit out of a rod locker and maybe having a stick with a transducer tied to it, sticks it down in the water and starts looking at the screen just to even find fish during a tournament? What's to stop you from doing that? Because I bet you it's been done. You know, there's even a buddy of mine that uh, has got a channel on here, lives not too far from the house, just a few minutes from the house. 
and he just recently bought one for his kayak because in the kayak tournaments he's been fishing, that's what they've been doing. And uh, <laughs> I was just kind of like, you know, why would you do that? Well, in order to compete, but the math doesn't work. You know, I mean, to each his own. I mean, if he, if he wants to buy it, go for it, dude. But, you know, I mean, and as long as people are buying are buying them and if the majority of them have them, that's just less chance of it being banned. But NPFL did. And good for them. How much longer before MLF and Bassmaster follow? There's too much money involved there. I don't know. That's my two cents on it, guys. I, good for them. I might actually look them up and see about following them. Because, I, you know, me personally, I want to see some real fishing. That's all I've got to say about that. With my infinite wisdom that means bupkis. <laughs> so anyway, until next time, guys, remember, new techniques are trendy. But bass never change. May the Father bless you and keep in Yeshua's name. And as always, fish on.